So you, you wanted to come and uh, debate me about Sophia bent How Yeah, I did some research here. Yeah. I did some research into the marriage. So you, um, did, you did research about the rape of Sophia? That's your claim, yeah? From no, 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 not my claim, not my claim. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad killed her family. He killed her whole tribe. He killed her brothers, her father, her cousins, her young groom, right? Because she was a young bride. She just got married. And Muhammad killed all of the men. And he took the women and children as slaves. On the same night, Muhammad raped Sophia. And one of the Sahaba was standing in the front entrance of uh, the tent and when Muhammad uh, woke up the next morning he saw the Sahabi and he asked him why are you here he said I was afraid that Sophia might kill you in your sleep now why is that because he was raping her all night so, so did you no no did you read about that did you read about that what's that was say, say that again the Sahabi of Muhammad, the companion of yeah. Muhammad, was standing and was guarding the tent all night long. All night long, all night long, you know? when for, Muhammad, for, for defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because Muhammad was raping Sophia all night long. He was having sexy time with her. Well, it, uh, well, it, it was obviously the marriage, so it, it won't be Well, Well, be, a couple hours before, he killed her husband. She was a young bride. He killed her father. He the killed her cousins. He killed her yeah. uncles. Yeah, and on the same night he raped her. Is that is that yeah, marriage? There, there's a whole explanation for that. So, firstly, explanation is what that yeah. he took so, uh, took her as sex slave. So, firstly, the the killing of the father, the father and the husband was justified because they were committing crimes. You know that. So, do we agree upon that? No. So Muhammad was Muhammad was attacking all tribes around him. And he wanted to expel all the Jews and the Christians from the Arabic Peninsula. And didn't he okay. also say? Yeah. Didn't he also say the best Muslims are the ones who bring uh, non-believers with chains around their necks? Didn't Muhammad say that? But the but this case is talking about the, they're trying to you know uh, get the courage to fight them. No, I so, want you. You told me you wanted to was. come and justify the marriage of Sophia. I'm telling you in your face, Sophia was getting raped all night long, all night long. How are you going okay, to? Do you do you know before? Do you know before um, Sophia, husband and uh, father getting killed, she she had a dream about the prophet. Do you know this? She had a dream she about said, the prophet. Yeah, Sophia said it was. Uh, well, she uh, well she was getting uh, married with her young husband. Yeah, before yeah, while she was married, she had a dream uh, that a moon uh, had landed on her lap, and then she said this to she told this to her husband, and then her husband slapped her. Yeah, and yeah. Then, yeah. And where then you get said, where where you huh? get the source from? Give me the source. Give me the source. Yes, the Tabrani is mentioned. Uh, Tabrani and uh, Al Mujma Al Kabir. Yeah, give me give me the source. Okay. You really believe in such nonsense, my friend? That it's not nonsense. that Mar 100%. that uh, that she got married. There's plenty of references. I've got how how? Uh, wait, wait. I'm I'm asking you in your face. Imagine I call myself a prophet right now. I yep. go and attack a, a tribe. I kill all the family because she was basically a princess, right? She was the daughter of the leader of that tribe. Of course, Muhammad would always get the best of the best. He would not get a uh, a, a uh, simple uh, woman, right? He they always when when he attacked someone, he took, for example, Joaria. You, re you remember the story of Joaria? Same story. She is also the daughter of the leader of the tribe. He takes her as a sex slave. Every time Muhammad attacks, he gets the best booty, and she was simply a booty of war. So Muhammad, okay, so like I said, like, yeah. So like, we focus on this. Let's, let's focus. On I this. want you. I want you. I want you to focus on the main thing. How d can you follow a so-called pro self-proclaimed prophet who goes around and slaves women, killing uh, the husbands, enslaving them, and marrying uh, 
so-called marrying them, but we know it's rape. Raping her, he didn't even wait for three months. No, he. he according he to the Quran, according to the Quran, in in uh, in uh, chapter two, Surah Al Baqarah, women need to wait to three months before they can marry. But but of course, the whole Quran was never given to Muhammad to listen to. All the Muslims must follow the rulings of the Quran. You have to wait three months to get um, to remarry someone else. Muhammad didn't wait. He didn't uh, ask her to wait three months. No, he killed her husband. He killed her uncles. And on the same night, he had sex with her. He was so raping her. I, yeah, can I respond to that? Yeah, respond. Go ahead. So the so basically, her father and her husband was a criminal. So what happened was criminal. Uh, no, 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 no. He, they were simply. Was, they were simply the. He was if, a captive. So let, no, me, let me finish. Let me no, finish. no, 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 no. Let don't me, lie. Me don't lie. Don't lie. I'm not. Uh, yeah, but don't let lie. Don't lie. I will bust you when you lie. These I'm people. Finish, these I'm people were finish. defending. These people were defending their tribe. What are you talking about? Imagine. Imagine you are a criminal. If I come to your house, I want to kill you and your wife. Who's the criminal? Am I the criminal or you? Who's the criminal now, uh, Muhammad Qasim? Be be real, man. Don't lie to me. I, I'm immune. Don't lie to yourself, at least. Muhammad was attacking tribes left and right. He attacked the Bani Qurayda. He attacked the Bani uh, 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 all the all these uh, Jewish tribes. He attacked the tribe of uh, Juaria. He attacked the tribe of uh, uh, of the father of uh, uh, what's his, her name, Sophia. He was attacking all the Jews, and he wanted to expel them. So it, it's, okay, now, it now here, they it, are it the here. Jews are the criminals. Shame on you for lying, man. It says here. Um, it says uh, the father and the husband they went to Mecca to incite Quraysh to fight the Holy Prophet. So it was because of the incitement, and then they also promised to pay uh, money for this, and then uh, they guarded a whole army basically to fight them. And then the, uh, no, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Then, no, and then Muhammad was they, never they, Muhammad was never attacked. He was the one always attacking all the yeah, tribes around him. This is this is like yeah. history. Which which um, which history? Which history are you talking about? Ibn Ishaq. You can look at Ibn Ishaq if you want. Okay, to. okay, it's okay. Give body. me, give me, give me the source. Give me the source. Are you are you are you quoting are you quoting what your sheikh have told you or are you reading for me? Uh, I've done my research on this, so I, I'm I'm prepared today. So what I'm saying is, uh, firstly, they were criminals. That's one thing. That's hundred percent. Secondly, uh, like there's so many evidence they were criminals. But secondly, she she had a dream about the Prophet Sallam, and then her husband interpreted that he said that this dream means. Uh, he, he goes, do you aspire to marry the king of Yathrib? Because he understood that a moon falling in the lap, his interpretation was that this means that he's, she's going to get married with the prophet because uh, he knew the Jewish scripture. And so then he slapped her and basically she, she had a bruise on her face. So for, early on she knew this was going to happen. And then the prophet also gave her a chance. He said to her, if you want, I'll free you. Go, you can go back to your people. I can show you proof for this. And then... Um, he gave a chance that if if you want I can free you or if you uh, if you want you, uh, you know uh, uh, I can I can marry you. so then she she so she she had she had one choice either uh, having sex with Muhammad yeah, or or stay a sex slave right no he said I can free you so you won't be no sl free for what free as what free as what from being a sex you slave free no you can go back to your Jewish what place. your what your right hand possesses right. No, what you, what 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 Jewish people? They all the men are are killed. Are you telling me that uh, that she can go back to? Uh... No no no, my friend, you have no clue what you're talking about. Islamic history is clear. When Muhammad attacked the tribes, they killed the men, and they uh, they even checked the young boys for the pe pubic hair. If they had pubic okay. hair, if they, if they had pubic hair, they were considered men, so the, their heads uh, were chopped off. So the only the young children, only only the young boys, uh, who didn't grow pubic hair, were kept alive, and the women were taken as sex slaves. What your right hand possesses, right? Okay. I'll chapter I'll four. I'll chapter four. Let me read for you. Chapter four, ayah twenty-four. Why are you Why are you denying what your Quran says? What does the Quran say, my friend? Let me read it. Here's the Quran. And also. Married women, except that your right hand possesses. What are the right hand possesses? Those are the sex slaves, my friend. 
So those are you can you can have sex. You can have sex. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. You can have sex with women that are captured in battle without marrying them. So you don't need to marry them because they are what your right hand possesses. Sophia was a sex slave. No, because she, she was, she, yes, she was, she was, she, the, the she prophet, is a war beauty. To her, the she is a war her, beauty. Your choice. Let, me, let me respond. The prophet said to her, make your choice. If you choose Islam, I'll select for you uh, my said, uh, myself. And if you choose a, a, a Judaism, I will set you free and send you back to your people. She said, oh, Allah's messenger, indeed, I long for Islam. and testified for you even before you gave me this invitation when I came to you I have no guardian among the Jews neither father nor brother and I prefer Islam over disbelief and Allah and his messenger are dear to me than freedom it, this, is a word, this is her words she's saying that Islam is more beloved to me so does this sound like rape or does it sound like uh, my friend my friend what are you talking about he, Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad attacks the tribe. Muhammad attacks the tribe. He enslaves all the women. He kills all the men. No man survived. I challenge you to show me where any man survived who why who, who, had, survive? who had who had pu pubic hair. Yeah. Why? why what is enemy? What is enemy? Muhammad was attacking all the tribes around him. He wanted to take all over. He he, he took yes. Medina with force. Medina was never his. He simply migrated to Yathrib and after he conquered it, he called it Medina. Is that is that no, is, is that true? He, no, he was invited there. So the, the no, he was not. He was not people. invited. He he because simply they had the chaos between each other already. He used to have battles with Muhammad, each other for years and years. Muhammad left Mecca after ten years. Right? He stayed there. No one kicked him out. No one persecuted. He left on his own choice he, he went to yathrib no, he was it was called no 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 that's a lie he stay, if you're going if you're going if you're going to get killed you will leave immediately muhammad stayed 10 years in mecca did you know that he stayed 10 yeah. years in mecca if you if you're going to get killed if you're going to get killed and you get you're you're getting persecuted you won't stay 10 years there he stayed 10 years so stop lying you are quoting no, what you are telling you no 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 he had protection at the beginning and he had people who were given protection and so no one could touch him but eventually uh they, they got fed up to, uh, with the with so the he wasn't per the so he wasn't he wasn't persecuted exactly he was, he was no he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't because he stayed they, they 10 years no he they didn't no no one wanted to kill him and he was he was, when he was he was he was attacking the pagan idols first he tried to reconcile to them he bowed down to their idols he said uh, these are the high cranes their intercession is hoped for because satan gave him the satanic verses and he bowed down and he prostrated mm. to their idols then jibril came and he and he and he, he said to Muhammad spank spank Muhammad what have you done these are not the words of Allah these are the words of Satan go read the tafsir for chapter 22 ayah 52 then Jibreel corrected Muhammad he spanked him a couple of times and he told him no these are satanic verses so what are you talking about my friend Muhammad no one attacked Muhammad Muhammad stayed for 10 years in Mecca then he decided to migrate to Yathrib at that time it was called Yathrib it was a Jew Jewish town Muhammad went there and slowly he guarded himself an army of thugs he was paying them money he yes he was there. no no he was paying he was paying them money he was paying them money they were a couple of thugs and then he started slowly to attack the caravans of the Meccans who never attacked him he slowly started uh, to steal <laughs> money from them taking the, all the money no this that's not no no this is not a lie <laughs> He oh, a lie. lie by you. You are the liar. So he attacked the caravans. He became richer and richer, and then he becomes stronger and stronger. And he conquered all the Jewish tribes around, surrounded uh, uh, around uh, Medina. No one could do anything a anymore so for him. Any any change? Have you given up on the Sophia uh, topic? Have no, 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 no. I didn't give. Sophia? Muhammad raped her all night long, all night long. Okay, and then the next morning, the next morning, the Sahabi told told Muhammad. Wait, wait, wait. The guy woke up. Muhammad woke up after raping uh, Sophia all night, all night long, all night long. Okay. So he woke up. He woke up, and then his Sahabi. 
was standing there guarding the tent. Muhammad said, why are you waiting? Why are you guarding the tent? He said, because I was afraid that Sophia would have killed you in your sleep because you were raping her. All no. night long, all night long. Boom. First, that's probably that fear. She accepted Islam from her own will. She, I got her words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She accepted Islam on her own will. Imagine, guys. Imagine, imagine. She's a young bride. She was, <laughs> she's captured. Stop lying, stop lying, stop, stop lying. <laughs> she, listen, listen. If you are a young woman, you are, first you are captured as sex slave. Then Muhammad takes her because she is the, the, she was the be most beautiful. She was the, uh, uh, the daughter of the tribe leader. So Muhammad didn't get any woman. So he took the best of the best. Always the best of the best was for Muhammad. So, he gave her a choice, either you're going to stay a sex slave or you, I'm going to marry you, right? And I will have sex with you. You don't like it? Stay a sex slave, we will give you to, to Dahya, Dahya al-Kalbi, right? Dahya al-Kalbi wanted to have her before Muhammad. But uh, the Sahaba didn't give her to Dahya al-Kalbi. They gave her to Muhammad instead because she was too beautiful to become the sex slave of Dahya al-Kalbi. It's all over, go check your sources. Yeah, I've read, I've read that. Uh, she, she was so, so you read that? So you read that? No, no. First, she was going to go to Dihya al Then Let me read, then, let me uh, read for you. Prophet, let me read. Uh, when you. he realized her, who she was, and then he said that he gave a choice. You know, either you, you can go back to your people. Yeah, either you stay. Uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't lie. Don't lie. No, no, no. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't, he didn't say go. Don't <laughs> lie. Don't <laughs> lie. I just told you. I just busted you. She be, she want, uh, Dahi al Kalbi wanted her to have her as sex slave. She was the war booty. What are you talking about? Stop lying, man. Stop using taqiyya. Shame on you. Liar. She, is, uh, she has the honor. Let me read it. Let me read it again. Right. Safiya said, I chose Allah. There's nothing called God in Islam. I chose Allah and his messenger and Islam. And the messenger of Allah set me free and married me. And he made me my mission, my bridal price. So he set her free to become a, uh, uh, not a slave anymore, not a sex slave anymore, right? As we said. So either choose, you're going to be the sex slave, what your right hand possesses as chapter 4, 24 says, the mm -hmm. right hand, right hand possess of who? Of Dahya al-Kalbi. But Muhammad gave her a choice. And of course, she is a noble, right? She's the daughter of a noble. She's the daughter of the leader of the tribe that Muhammad attacked. So she's a noble. She would not go with, with some guy. So she chose to be with the old guy, the leader, the king of, the, of Islam, which is Muhammad. So Muhammad gave her a choice. Option A, you're getting, you're getting to get effed anyway by the Kalbi as a sex slave. Or, or, or I'm going to F you on the same night. I'm going to rape you. Either way, you're getting effed anyway. Choose option A or option B. Right? Both options are incorrect. And you just... Goodbye. Goodbye. Bro, bro, oh, leave, leave. Then no, no, let him leave. Let him leave. He, okay, he already no, but this is, this He let you... He, uh, he already left. He already left. No, no but this, this is getting absurd, obviously, right? Okay, what other option is there for women under this circumstance? Right? He, he's claiming that we're, we're not being truthful here. I mean, either you are uh, one of uh, the women whose right hand is being... Or one of the possessions, right? Yeah. Of the Muslims. Or she could be a, a quote-unquote esteemed wife of the prophet who yeah. at that time would be a rock uh, no star. no bro there is nothing called wife the guy Muslim, muhammad took her instead of the al kalbi he raped her on the same night he didn't wait three months as in surat al-baqarah you have to wait three months right if you are divorced or your husband is dead uh according to the quran a woman needs to wait three months muhammad didn't wait that long he had sexy time with her. He raped her on the same night that he killed, on the same day that he killed her father, her whole family, he murdered. And he enslaved all the children and the women, right? And he raped her and one of the Sahaba was waiting and guarding the tent all night long when Muhammad was having sex with her, all night long, right? So Muhammad woke up the next morning and, and he saw the Sahaba guarding the tent, standing before the tent of Muhammad. He said to, to the Sahaba, why, why are you waiting? Uh, why, what are you doing here? He said, I was guarding the tent. I was looking. So he was even looking to the rape 
<laughs> he was watching the rape of Safiya by Muhammad. He was afraid that if Muhammad felt asleep, she would stab him with a knife in his heart. You know what's funny, right? So uh, I'm actually imagining this scenario right now. So you have a man who killed all the men in your tribe. Yeah. Right? You're pretty much poor women, man. Poor lady. Poor young bride. Wiped out. Now, 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 her conversation with Muhammad kind of sounds like um, a a person under her captor, right? Or yeah. his or her captor. You're going to kiss that person's ass no matter what. Yeah. Right? Because your life could be next. Yeah. Now, read what Qasim wrote, right? He, he quoted a, a, a passage here, which, you know, you suspect that it is Safiya really saying this. But, right, so this is what he says. He says, make your choice. If you will choose Islam, I will select you for myself. And if you choose Judaism, I will set you free and send you to your people. So she said, oh, Allah's messenger, indeed, I longed for Islam and testified for you even before you gave me this invitation when I came to you. So, I mean, just that answer in itself, what does that tell you? Yeah. You no, know, this comeback, look, he ran from uh, the debate, as you saw, he went away. He says here in the text, how it, it doesn't say that she was going, gonna get free or married. Free as what? To get to be free as the w wife of Muhammad. Not free as sex slave. No, she she would have stayed as sex slave anyways. Dahil Kelbi would have owned her as sex slave, right? So this guy is nothing but a liar, a filthy scumbag, donkey. Oh, here's another thing. That's he what he is. Covered up. So notice how Qasim said that uh, he, uh, 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 Muhammad gave her the option of becoming a Muslim or be, or remaining a Jew in Judaism, right? But see, Muslims are Which still is a lie. allowed to capture the people of the book as their sex slaves, even yeah. if they are Jews or Christians. Yeah, yeah of so course. He made chapter 9, he chose Judaism, chapter nine he ayah 29, right? Right. right. He's yeah. making it seem like even if you're a Jew or a Christian, you're exempt from being a, someone's sex slave or being yeah. part of someone's harem. Yeah, and, and uh, the thing is, uh, Hagia Sophia films, we are talking about uh, the part that Muhammad, in the time that Muhammad was in Medina. So he, we are talking about yeah. the abrogated ayahs from the Meccan period. So here Muhammad is already very strong. He owns an army. Uh, he's not afraid. He, he doesn't need to use taqiyah anymore. This is clear stage three jihad, right? Remember when we were talking about stage one, stage two, and stage three jihad? Remember that? So here Muhammad is very strong. He doesn't need to use allies. He doesn't need to use taqiyah. He has a strong army. He attacks all the Jews left and right. He and he says, I will expel all the Jews from the Arabic Peninsula. And, and he did that, right? He did that. And on top of that, Muhammad, every time he attacked a tribe, he killed the man and he enslaved the women and children. And he also says in the hadith, the best Muslims are the Muslims who take unbelievers, kafirs, mushrikun with chains around their necks. Those are the best Muslims. So you see, this Muhammad Qasim, he's a liar, he's a deceiver, he's a filthy scumbag like his prophet. End of story.